So, uh, and Pe Pepe will be playing white every game. All right, hi everybody. Sorry, we had some technical difficulties, uh, and we will be continuing on from here. Um, so, with m I'm Tony Chen from the St. Louis Chess Club. Along with me is Pepe Cuenca, Grandmaster in Residence. Um, he will be playing blindfold blitz, uh, and he's going to be bantering along with it with us as well. Filling in to move for Pepe is we have Caleb Gosden to my right, and he will be playing. Uh, Perry, one of the chess associates here in the St. Louis Chess Club, and it's going to be a fun time. Pepe is going to be playing white the, every game, and hopefully somebody will be able to take him down. Fingers crossed. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So, Pepe, please go on. Please uh, yes. put your blindfold on, and we're ready to start. Okay. So, E4. Starting out with E4. All right. Perfect. D5. Not at D6. CD4. Bishop G5. E6. Queen D2. Bishop E7. Long castle. Castle. H4. So far, pretty exciting game. Uh, one of my job is one of my jobs is to distract Pepe. So we'll see if we we can get Perry an advantage here. Knight B5. <coughs> Queen B6. Knight C3. Bishop D7. Bishop E3. Queen C7. Rick A to B8. <coughs> Knight B5. Just harassing my queen. Just keep on. Queen C8. Knight takes d6. Bishop takes d6. Wait till he moves, and then you can move. <laughs> <laughs> Rook d8. b6. Okay, okay, I'll try. I, I think I get it. All right, it looks like our friend Barry, uh, Perry is up a piece, and yeah. we'll see how long he can keep that up. 98. Okay. So queen g3. Up a piece and still thinking hard on this. Yeah. <laughs> you try doing this, Tony. Oh my god. Knight f6. Bishop takes d8. Queen takes d8. Queen d6. Rook b6. 
reason I still can't win. <laughs> Perry is now hating himself for being up a piece <laughs> and still still hard to win. Sorry. Oh, there was an illegal move by Perry. Wow, wow. That's all right. Wow. What did you do? He played knight c6 to e8. All right, listen, we've got to make a move. H6? That was a good move. A6? Yeah, H6. Okay. G4. Do what? Oh, G4. G4. Magic knight. That's so bad. Yeah, I can't move that knight. I do not want to move that knight. Uh, nerves are getting to him. Nerves are getting to me, yes. Let's just get this queen out of arms. King out of arms. King okay. h7. King h7, then g5. Bishop e8. Bishop e8. Okay. Queen takes d8. Rook takes d8. Knight takes d8. G takes f6. <laughs> Gf6. Bishop e2. Knight c6. Knight d1. Knight d4. Knight d4. Rook takes d4. Oh, did I just blunder? Uh, e5. Rook d8. We get it, Perry. What's that? Oh, yeah, I got it. nervous. It. Yeah, it's tough. Bishop c6. E4. b5. Rook d6. Bishop b7. Bishop b5. King g6. a4. h5. a5. Perry, Perry is getting pawn pushed on. Bishop c8. He's getting pushed down. <laughs> a6. This is coming after me. Coming after me. <clears throat> Running out of moves. Man, you're going to have to sack that face. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. King g7. A7. That's ugly. Bishop b7. Alright, I resign. All right. All right. And there's a resignation from Perry, and the game is over. Uh, that was a good game to start nice off. Nice. Yeah. It was not a good game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I blundered so bad with knight b5 yeah, with the opening. Right in the beginning. I, was, I thought, like, I, in my mind, I was thinking that you said before e6 instead of a6. So, but then I realized that it was e6. <laughs> and then I got nervous and started running out of time and was up against the Grandmaster. So. Okay. Okay. But I think I performed okay. For a minute, <laughs> it's tough. I'll give it a go. All right. Tony, well, man, ladies and gentlemen, um, nice. I don't know if this is the this is the first time I've seen it, but we have one of the top brass here at St. Louis. <laughs> Perry, you're in the way. So you're in the. We have a one of the top brass here at the St. Louis Chess Club, Tony Rich, the executive director. You want to say a few words before you begin, Tony? Uh, sure. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank. No. Um, <laughs> I just hope I don't blunder like Perry did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, every, so everybody's hoping that they don't blunder. We'll see if that happens. Okay, uh, we can go ahead and start any time. Yes. Again, you're playing white. Okay, then uh, let's make, let's play e4 again. c5. Out of three. g6. d4. cd4. Queen takes d4. Knight f6. Bishop b5.
a6, e5, EF6, EF6, Shark Castle, Knight C6, Rookie One check. Uh oh. Uh oh. I missed F6 is going to hang after all this too. Are we going to see a really early resonation here? Is oh, that what's going to happen? Play to the bitter end. You need, you need one? Yeah, you know. Ninety-seven. Queen F6. Rook G8. Knight to G5. Oh, it hurts. Make it stop. And we have a groan from Tony Rich as he enters a difficult position here. Um, wow. I don't think difficult's the word anymore. Wow. <laughs> I think at this point it's pretty G7. Knight E4. Wow, wow, just the threats just keep on coming. So uh, aside from now, how was your day today, Tony? Oh, <laughs> great up until now, right? Queen A5. I did a play to people one time in my life. And the problem is, like, whenever I talk and try to interact with the, the audience, then I just drop all my pieces. At least this time I haven't dropped them yet. King D8. Run away. Is this like one of those Morphe games where just all your pieces get pinned? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Queen A6. Now, let's do, let's break the break the concentration. Bishop f4. Bishop f4. Can't move anything. Good. G5. Knight takes F7 check. Uh, see, I planned on Rook F7, but I missed Bishop F8 hangs at the end of all this nonsense, too. It looks like Pepe's pieces are all up in your face. Uh, down on time, down on position. You can't even see the board, man. That's not fair. Time here. To We've got 210, okay. he's got okay. 246. Down on position time. Yeah, yeah that's a you story know, of happens. my chess game, right? It happens. G5. 
king e8. Knight d6 check. Okay, I resign. Oh, and there's a resignation from Tony Rich. Yeah, good game, good game. And we have another one down. Um, how, how do you, T. Rich, how do you, how do you feel? How do you feel about that game? Fill us in. Okay, so uh, the accelerated dragon or the hyper accelerated dragon like I played it, um, these queen d4 lines are really tricky for me. I remember I played Ben Feingold in a lot of games in these same lines, and I'd play knight f6, e5, knight g8, e6, knight f6. And I don't know if it's any good or not, but like that's I what mean, I would always the play. You played this good, but the, the key is not to take on f6, but you have to close the position with e6. Ah, see, and so, then I thought e6, and so I'm going to have a hard time developing my dark squared bishop. Yeah, but also f6 is sanguine at the same time. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the best line for black there. I thought so. at some point I'd have like rook a6 as an idea too. So mm -hmm. with knight d6, maybe I can sack the exchange, but I never yeah. found a way to make that work yeah, either. It's too slow maybe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. Yeah. Mm. Well, the there you have it. End of game two. End of opponent two. And now next up we have Kyle Weber, Scholastic Manager here at the St. Louis Chess Club. Um, he will be... Victim number three. I'm just gonna go ahead and pre pre say say that victim number three. All right, we're just gonna. They told me I got the white pieces. Uh, they 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 lie to you. You have the black pieces, so you prepared wrong. Let's face facts. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. All right, go. let's start game three, Pepe. Okay, e4 again. E6. D4. D5. Knight c3. Knight f6. Bishop g5. Bishop b4. e5. h6. Bishop e3. Bishop takes c3 check. b takes c3. Knight e4. Knight e2. C5. Classic break. Classic break with C5, and then now attacking the knight. It's time booking. Oh, you're off on time, Kyle. So let's uh, distract you a little bit. Yeah, of course. Why not? What's uh, any anything you want to say about about schools going on right now? School programs. Scholastic yeah. right? Feel free. Yeah. Feel feel free. C D four. We're in 111 schools. 5,000 kids every week are learning chess. It's amazing. C D four. Queen A five check. C three. As you all saw, that was an almost illegal move. <laughs> Knight takes c3. As the kids say nowadays, pin it to win it. Is that how we're doing it? Yeah, I got pinned pretty quick, didn't it? Wow, Kyle's thinking. Always want to want to give a shout out to uh, our man in the back, Danny Machuka. Um, he's the one that makes everything production-wise ha happen when it comes to our streams. So, a little ha hats off to you, my friend. Man, Kyle's just oh, thinking like crazy here. Can't do anything. I, th those were the those were the exact words that Tony Rich had. I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna save my queen at least. Knight so. c6. Knight takes c3. Castles. Bishop e2. Bishop d7. Shark castle. Knight 
97. Don't worry, Kyle. Uh, down, down a piece again against the Grandmaster is not not that scary. You're, you're good. You're <laughs> good. Do it. Gook up to C1. All right, Pepe's getting a lot of ground. Rook's out. Rook A to C8. Knight B5. All right, three minutes left for Pepe, two and a half for Kyle. Rook takes C1 check. Rook takes C1. Queen takes d2. Queen takes d2. Kyle thought he had that for free. Nope. Bishop takes b5. Bishop takes b5. Knight f5. Rook c7. A6. Bishop D3. Knight takes D4. Bishop E3. Knight c6. D4. Bishop d2. Kyle thought he, he had a plan. He he didn't. He didn't. No plan for me. He didn't. Uh, yeah, he was trying to he was trying to push some pawns, but you know his knights. Uh, you're already down a piece. Why don't you can go go down too? Yeah, sure. Just sure. go for it. What's it? It's go go big or go home, right? Right. Oh, well, not going anywhere. Rook b8. It should be e4. Knight d8. Of two. B five. Right. Bishop A five. Right. Pepe's king starting to make his march up to up at the board. It looks like moving all the pieces to a. Oh. F five. E F six. GF6. D7. Knight F7. E5. And Kyle is, Kyle is heartbroken from losing that pawn. That was his, like one of his lonely hopes there. E F four. Bishop D five. Pin it to win it this entire thing. I know, <laughs> every, it's, every that's a lesson <laughs> to learn, isn't it? Pin it to win it. Everybody should know that one. You've been uh, learning that lesson a Rick F eight. couple of times today. And you even you like pre move for him almost. <laughs> you knew exactly what he was gonna play. Uh, this is looking pretty are you going to try to make a draw offer to s s salvage something? Oh, he flagged. 
Oh, and there is a time, and that is victim number three. I called it. <laughs> that was pretty pretty awesome. Um, Should I send the next victim in? Maybe. Let's before you do that. Let's. Uh, how, how do you feel about that game? Pretty terrible. <laughs> All right, and there you have it. Pretty terrible. Um, that was victim number three, um, and he is uh, one of the classic managers here at the St. Louis Chess Club, Kyle Weber. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Yep. Yeah, go ahead and send victim number four in. I'm going to pre-call it again. Uh, so that's a four Nick coming into play? And we have, oh, Nick, yep, perfect, perfect. All right, we have Nick Risco joining us. Um, he is also a staff member here at the St. Louis Chess Club. Um, you see him on many streams nowadays, um, classes, uh, play the people. He does it all. He is an avid chess player. We are just waiting on our fellow mover, Caleb Goslin. He had to, you know, it's a it's a long show, so everybody need, needs a little break from now and then. All right, and here he comes. Here he comes. Okay, um, Nick, any any words you want to say to the people before you begin? Nope. All right, all right. Pepe, remind us when be, before yep. before today. When was the last time you played blindfold chess? I don't know when I normally don't play blindfold, but I've I've done I've done some shows like uh, for Chess Twenty Four, like some Banta Blitz and stuff like that. But maybe like three, four months ago. Oh, okay. So, all right. <laughs> well, he's got some practice in now, but let's see uh, if you can make it happen, Nick. Okay, pivot right. anytime. Okay, E4. C5. Not F3. D6. D4. C D4. Hmm. Queen takes d4. A6. Knight c3. Knight c6. Queen e3. Knight f6. Bishop c4. For those viewers who haven't watched Nick a lot, he loves to play these uh, Sicilian games. Um, do you you study Sicilian a lot, don't you? Uh, I try. Okay. okay. He's 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 he's, he's pretty he's pretty humble, humble for a kid. Bishop b7. Short castle. G6. A4. Mm. Uh, Nick is over there trying to be in Keto's bishop over there in the castle, but uh, Pepe. Bishop G7. Ooh, okay. Didn't didn't care about the uh, didn't care about the the pawn there, huh? A takes B5. Queen takes A8. Queen takes A8. Knight takes B5. Like I said to Kyle, being being down some p p pieces against the grandmaster is not a big deal. You can always sack some other stuff. Castles. Knight C seven. Those are anyway. Yeah. He didn't really care if he didn't have the fork. He's gonna attack your queen. Queen C eight. The knight D five. All right. Knight takes d5. Three, three minutes, 30 seconds. Three minutes, 30 seconds for Pepe. About a little under two and a half minutes for Nick. Nick is in time trouble. Down pieces. Um, we'll see how he reacts. You know, uh, for somebody for s such a young age that he is, um, he, he does take his time. He likes to make sure all the bases are 
covered. He's like a t teenage old man. Night before. Night before, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So bishop takes b7. Queen b7. And there goes those two pawns starting to march on. Are you worried about those two pawns, Nick? Knight okay. oh. A2. <laughs> this game is like getting getting old it's like you see the pawns coming like, like like your hair is starting to fall out but like you can't do anything to stop it it's you know knight d4 slowly marching on for all those here's a let's see here uh knight takes you one Queen takes e1. Queen takes e4. Rook e1. Queen b7. Knight f3. Rook b8. Rook e2. Yeah, he saw the threat. Of course he saw the threat. It's just, it's like if you see a fire, you're supposed to, if you're on fire, it's no stop, drop, and roll. That's, you know, if he sees a threat, he's going to protect e6. it. E6. E6, right, you said? Yes, E6. H3. And marching pawns on the other side. For all of you um, Game of Thrones fans out there, this is what they call winter is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> H6. Queen D2. Our boy Nick is not doing too bad here. Um, Material-wise, only down one pawn, but you know. D5. Oh, I even want. H4. Pawn, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I can't. I'm yes. looking at it sideways. I'm looking at it sideways. It's uh, it's hard for me. Queen A6. For all you viewers out there, you weren't here around for, for, for this, but uh, um, if Nick loses, he has to do 20 push-ups. That's basically, you know. I didn't agree to that. You, you work here. You agree to everything we have to, we have to decide here. Queen A1 check. G5. G3. Queen A5. King G2. Queen A8. Queen C6. Knight G2. You're almost at a minute. Me? Yeah. A minute? You. 
One minute. One minute. Yeah. Oh, you've got 28 seconds. F5. Knight G2. Knight's already on G2. Ah, okay. F5. <laughs> Minute for Pepe. F four. Less than thirty seconds for Nick. Knight G four. F G three. F G three. Queen E eight. Queen D three. Check. No, Queen D three is not check. Queen takes H five check. Okay. King G two. Queen takes G four. Rook F two. Queen E four check. Queen takes. He takes. Oh man, you Rook B5. King F2. Intense time trouble here. King F7. King E1. Uh, King F6. King D1. King F5. King C2. Rook D5. B4. Rook D8. Sorry? Rook D8. King B3. Rook C8. Rook C2. E3. B5. You flagged. And there is the flag <laughs> on Nick's. Uh, man, this, uh, what's the time? What have you, how many? Oh, you had like <laughs> tens of seconds <laughs> left. Good job. Nick, you want to say a few words before you walk nope. out of here in shame? No? All right. We get it. You're I'm not even, even going to set up the board? What is this? For all you kids out, out, out there, good sportsmanship. We set up the board. <laughs> was there even a handshake? What was that? There was a handshake. Oh my god, come on. There was, there was. <laughs> there there was. was. It was Chris. Alright. Alright, Nick, if you. Yeah, send, send the next. Oh! Oh! oh and man. here we go, here we go. The big fish. Yeah. Um, we are joined by chess club manager Jonathan Schrantz. You, you guys probably remember him from being the winner of Intense Chess the other night. Um, how do you feel today, Jonathan? Uh, well, I'm sort of. I think people maybe have been taking the wrong approach today. You know, you're not. They're not trying to beat this guy. Maybe I can take this guy on. Oh, maybe I got a few okay. tricks to swindle the guy relaying the move. I think that's that's probably the the right approach here. Oh, okay. So we'll good, see what happens. Good, good plan. Good plan. Pepe, how do you feel right now? You've been through like what four games now? Yeah, it's been uh, tough. And now Jonathan is uh, quite a strong player. We played a lot of blitz games, and he managed to beat me in some of them. So let's see what happens. All right. Viewers, uh, I will make sure Nick does his 20 push-ups. Don't worry about that. He will do it. And uh, let's go ahead and get started on the next game. All right, here we go. Have any time. Now we're playing solid with C4. Knight of six. <coughs> Rook Knight C3. E6. E4. C5. E5. Knight G8. Knight f3. Knight c6. d4. cd4. Knight take d4. Knight takes e5. Knight d to b5. a6. Knight d6. Bishop takes. He takes. f6. <coughs> Bishop e3. Knight e7. Bishop b6. Knight f5. <coughs> Queen c5. d6. Queen B4. Go. <coughs> Knight C6. Queen B3.
Knight F to D4. Bishop takes. Knight takes D4. Queen D1. Very intense game so far. Let's see what the time is here. Heavy has 315. Queen B6. John has 422. <gasps> this is a, uh, oof. Queen D2. For all those who do not remember, Jonathan's skill of ratings of well, were right under 2,000. Um, he did beat a national master the other day in intense chess to win it all, and that was pretty exciting. So let's see if he can pull it through here against the GM. Knight d5. Queen c6. <clears throat> Bishop D3 Bishop E6 Bishop E4. There's so much tension in here. It's just uh, everybody has to have their has their blood flowing. Bishop what? takes d5. Bishop takes d5. Exchange. Man, this is uh all right. Queen's being attacked. What is he gonna do? Queen c7. Short castle. Rook B8. Group A to E1. B5. B5. The king is on e8, right? Mm hmm. Queen takes d4. Ah, that was a trick. Oh, tactics. there we go. Some tactics time. Dang it. B takes c4. Okay. Bishop takes c4. Some very vicious pins here by Pepe. It's like a uh, boxing. You're just like pinned on the ropes. What are you going to do? Mm. A5. It's okay, Jonathan. Queen d5. I've been saying to everybody today, being down a piece against the GM is not not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not worried yet. <sighs> Queen E7. Queen E7, you said, right? Yes. B3. 
We're still w waiting on this. Uh, H5. Rook D1. Rook D8. More fast Rook moves. E8. Rook D8. Ah, oh, okay, okay. About a minute left for Pepe, minute 30 for Jonathan. H4. H3. F5. Rook F to D1. Rook H6. Okay, about 30 seconds left. Queen G8 check. 30 seconds left for Pepe. One Queen minute F8. One minute 30 for Jonathan. King takes. King E7. Queen, rook A5. Rook D7. Uh, rook D to D5. G5. King F1. G4. Bishop E2. G H three. G H three. Rook G six. Bishop F three. E four. Bishop H one. Rook F six. Rook takes F five. King E six. Rook takes F six. You flagged Pepe. Ah, oh, and there's a flag. <laughs> no. Flags down for Pepe. So Jonathan still had a little over a minute left. Wow, that was a pretty exciting game. Anything you want to? Anything you want to say? Yeah, it's pretty easy. I think I took the right approach. I attacked this guy. He was playing a little bit slow. He kind of kind of hindered you there. You did the, you did well. You played a lot better than me, obviously, even without looking. But in the end, I knew I could play faster than this guy. Oh. <laughs> that was our battle plan by Jonathan Schranz. What do you think about that, Pepe? Well, I think the end was uh, pretty pretty complicated because the opening uh, is is pretty tough, and then uh, so I had to spend a lot of time over there, and then you know. It was tough at the end game, so I was uh, with a clear advantage, but then, you know, I was running out of time. So, what to do? All right. <laughs> well, there is, uh, that is the first loss for Pepe today. Um, we have, now it's the record of 4-1. and one. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> um, for all the future contestants, I think our, the main plan is to go after Caleb Gosson here. All right, make sure, yeah, make sure he flags, make sure Pepe and him flags. That's the whole goal of this situation. Um, well, thank you very much for joining, joining us, Jonathan. Um, we will look forward to the next opponent. All right, and now, uh, right after the manager of the club, we have assistant manager of the chess club, Dennis LaRue, coming in as the sixth challenger this way. Yep, come on this way. Um, he is uh, part of the same team Jonathan is, who is basically keeps the club running, um, functioning perfectly. Uh, any any words you want to say before the match begins, John? Uh, Good luck. I like how Jonathan has started to uh, uh, made the strategy about attacking Caleb. I think I'm going to follow suit. So they're going to slap nah. him, or what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to try and keep the the attacks uh, chess related. Um, All right. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Now we have a battle plan. Same battle plan. Let's see if Dennis can pull it off. All right. Anytime you're ready, Pepe. Okay. E4. E6. D4. D5. D3. D4. Six. Knight E to G5. <clears throat> so rating wise, J uh, Dennis is slightly lower than Jonathan. So we're gonna distract Pepe a little bit, uh, so we can give Dennis a <laughs> shot here. You know, the, your battle plan rests on you moving fast. Bishop yeah, takes F3. Sure Bishop Check. takes F3. Queen takes F3. Oh, you fell, <laughs> you fell for the trick. You fell for the trick. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I sure did. Okay. Okay. It's all right. Knight of six. Queen takes B7. Like the statement is, you can still survive. Well, yeah, I get it. You're going to lose her arm or leg on this one? <laughs> Knight, I pump, um, yeah, I Knight B to D7. B 
Bishop C4. And Pepe, just to confuse you a little more, n next game you're going to start playing a black piece and okay. see how you do. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop D6. Shot castle. Castles. And Pepe is slightly up on time, so the battle plan can Queen still F3. still re resume. You said Queen F3, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Knight b6. Bishop d3. And Pepe, while you're thinking, got another surprise for you. So next guest, next player, you're, you're going to get time odds and peace odds. Knight okay. b to d5. Knight b to d5. Okay. So a3. C5. So for all our viewers in the future, um, we're gonna C4. have we're gonna have our very own Caleb Gosson over here play as well. <laughs> um, you know what? It's fun. I might join in. You never know. Um, I might have to cheat with my phone. You know, with the <laughs> with the engine up. Ninety seven. Right. A little under thir three and a half minutes for Pepe, two uh what is it, two thirty for two fifty for Dennis and Dennis is falling off the track for his He's battle plan. He's a grandmaster. <laughs> grandmaster Bishop takes C five. Bishop D4. Rook A to D1. It's slightly not fair for E5. E5, right? Yes. Sometimes it's not fair for our club employees to play uh, Played this game um, against Pepe, so we might we might get somebody to try their hand again at this, see if they actually win. Um, Bishop, uh, C1. Rook B8. Rook F to E1. All right, well, Dennis's plan is definitely falling H6. through. Sorry? H6. Yeah, down on time, which means his opponent is officially not E4. Caleb anymore. It's now he's straight up playing Pepe, and he's, gonna, he's getting, <laughs> he's, he's getting uh, destroyed a little bit. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, what's going on all the viewers <laughs> out there? Uh, Knight takes e4. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. All the viewers, if there's anything you want to add to our conversation, please chat it in. Um, 
I have my man Danny Machuca in my ear, so anything you type, you can go see go and let me know. Um, F5. And uh, this is... And this is our first shot at do doing this uh, blindfold banter blitz. So let us know how, you, how what you think of it. Info at stlouschessclub.org. Um, any s new shows you want to see, any suggestions you want to submit, also info at stlouschessclub.org. B6. We had a couple of viewers say that they were going to write write a little short essay about how, how good of a job I'm doing. I'm still w waiting on that. So if that's you, send it in. Um, and uh, Pepe's still doing good on time. A little. Oh. Do what? B3, B3. Pepe has a little over 130 and less than a minute for our man, Dennis LaRue. He's, uh, let's keep it pop -up positive. He's doing okay. C6. He's he, he's actually not. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Bishop takes e three. Queen takes b three. There is no pawn. Ah yeah, rook takes e three. There's no rook. All right, and we have. <laughs> And Pepe has lost the position of mind a little bit, so let's get. He has. He has. He's up on time. He can still get the uh, Im image back. Get that. You have pawn a three, pawn c four, bishop b one, queen e three, rook d one, rook e one, f two, g two, h two. Oh. Oh, I thought you said queen takes. No, pawn takes. Uh, so queen e three, queen e three, and then pawn takes e three, right? We'll go back. We fixed it then. Yeah, yeah. Queen three, queen three. And pawn takes, right? So it was okay, yeah? yeah. Oh, and there we, so Dennis actually did go on, his, go through his battle plan of trying to defeat Caleb, because that's basically what's happening right now. No, no, I think um, it was just a miscommunication. We're getting back there. Yeah, queen e3, queen e3. Okay. Right? I think this is the position. So we should be three, we should take c3, queen takes e3, queen takes e3, and then f takes e3, right? No, the queen was on these. That's yeah, why, yeah. Bishop, t bishop from c5 to oh, e3. Instead of, yeah, instead Black did not play queen takes e3. He played ah. queen takes b3. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 So All right. Let, let's let's start it up. All right. Let's start it from from this from this position. Okay. Yeah. Queen takes b3. So queen queen takes b3. And my pawn is on c4 and a3. Three. Three, right. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. So queen takes b3. Rook takes b3. Rook b7. Ninety-five. Rook D to D one. Rook takes A three. About thirty F3. seconds. Thirty seconds left for both players. E three. F four. Knight takes C four. Rook D three. Knight d2. Rook takes a3. Knight takes b1. Rook takes b1. e2. Rook e1. Rook e8. Rook e3. King f7. Rook <laughs> takes rook. Oh my god, this is just a comment. King e8. Just a comment. Rook e2. King, King d7. <laughs> Can have took and have three pre-move? What is this? We got some pre-moves in this. Oh, say, another pre -move. say another pre-move. Say another pre-move. I'm flagging. I'm flagging. Oh, and there's the flag for Dennis, and we have three seconds left for Pepe. Wow. That was basically the fastest hand wins. Oh, man. Um, we have, we have, okay. We had a okay. we had a bit of miscommunication in the game. We had time trouble for both sides. Um, I, saw, I thought <laughs> you said bishop e3, and then queen e3. Queen after, takes yeah, e3. After bishop takes e3, I thought you said... Queen yeah, queen takes e3, three, and then and I thought you said queen no, takes queen e3. Three. Three. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, that's all right. That's all right. It happens all the time. Dennis, what do you, what'd you think about that game? That was a lot of fun. Yeah, um, miscommunication. B sounds a lot like E. Um, okay. They, they both have the same vowel in there. Yeah, it happens. It happens. E is the vowel. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, perfect. Um, 
So we will try our best to keep the miscommunication on a minimum, and uh, while we welcome in our next guest, thank you very much, Dennis. Yeah, I thank just you, have fun. Yeah. All right, welcoming, welcoming another chess club associate, we have Brittany. First official right. game, and Here you really want to beat me? My first official game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, oh, I didn't know about this. So this is Brittany's first official game. Um, oh, okay, Brittany, any, any first words? For <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. Let's uh, give a little prayer. Give a little so, prayer. So we're going to, so we're actually going to switch up. You're, you switch up. Uh, yep, you're playing white. You're playing, you you're playing black. You're playing, yep, you're playing black. Um, so we're going to give, since this is Brittany's first time playing, we're going to give her time odds and peace odds, which means, uh, so um, do you want to do queen queen odds? Okay, you want to do queen odds? Okay. okay. So we're going to give Brittany okay. queen odds. Bring the queen over here. So then we're going to give her time odds as well. How about, uh, let's say, five, three? Yeah, that's all right. we do that? Okay. Okay, we do that? Can you, Caleb, can you? Okay, sounds yeah. good. So... As you so viewers, we have uh, time odds two minutes uh, less for Pepe and Queen odds. So we'll see if Brittany can win this game. Okay, um, any? That's right. That's right. She's a new player, so we're gonna give her some odds. All right. Anytime you're ready, Brittany, you can start it off. Knight f three. C five. E four. Knight c six. Uh, illegal move. Oh, oh, just to make sure, yep, and also make sure to press the clock to the same hand you move your pieces. Okay. For all you kids out there, that's uh, rules in chess. Yeah. <laughs> D4. C takes D4. Knight takes D4. G6. Knight D2. Knight D2, Knight takes D4. Bishop D three, so that's a <laughs> that's the second time Brittany tried to do illegal moves just to j just to throw people off, just to throw people off. It's on purpose. It's, on, it's a tactical move. Yeah. Um. So we, Brittany, you're the second to last game. You got to make it count. Okay. Oh, it's on me. Yeah, it's on it's on you. Look at your clock right here. Okay. Oh, that's oh, oh, nope. Shoot. That's your own. That that that's your own piece. That's your own piece. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to capture her own. Knight C four. Knight C four. Okay. Is it nice before? Is it bad? <laughs> <laughs> Knight F6. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. So, Caleb, I, I know you want to you wanna try your hand hand at this, so uh -huh. since we have one game left, we might have you come in here and uh, have Dennis uh, F3 be, be the move mover. F3 short castle. Illegal move. What? That's the that's ta tactical. She she's doing it she's doing it on purpose. Castles. D6. E5. E5. Okay. D takes E5. Knight takes E5. Bishop E6. Bishop E3. Root F to D8. Mm. All right, and looks like they're about this. Uh, Brittany is C3. Brittany has one. Brittany has one more minute more than Pepe. Um, she's trying all these tactical moves. You know, trying to trying to get a rouse out of. She, she, she's she's following the battle plan of um, C4. She's down. In Playing, playing against. We're only going to two, two minutes for for Pepe because no. time, time odds and peace odds. Uh, right, and. C four people, right? Yes. Rookie one. Don't don't doubt yourself, D1. Brittany. Don't doubt yourself. Well, doubt yourself there. Rook E <laughs> takes D one. Rook, Rook E takes D one. Okay, Knight D seven. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, looks like the peace odds are gone. So um, we're going to look at time. <laughs> well, she's still up by slightly by a little bit. Bishop e4. Knight takes e5. I bet it's because you viewers didn't, didn't pray, pray for Brittany like she asked. <laughs> you guys suck. You guys suck. <laughs> I can't stand you mm -hmm. Hold on, I still got a chance. Um, Rook oh, A wait. to C1. Knight takes C4. Rook B1. Knight takes B2. Rook takes B2. Rook takes D1. Ooh, shit. Mm. King F2. Bishop takes B2. I, don't know, I wonder what kind of person Brittany is. She, is she going to type to resign, or is she going to play to the bitter end like Jonathan did? I don't give up, y'all. She, she just said she doesn't give up. I don't give she doesn't up. give up. Not to the bitter end, y'all. Y'all just going to have to King E3. Okay. Uh, rook A to D8. Mm. Looks like they're about the same on time. A minute 30 left each. Bishop takes B7. <laughs> <laughs> so now, a fish. Bishop C1 check. Yes. So we're talking about officially peace odds and time odds are both gone at this point. Um, <laughs> Let's see, let's see how she's going to do. Oh, man. She's going to do great. Go, Brittany, go. Okay. Okay, um, let's see. Ooh. Illegal move. That was, uh, again, a ta tactical, um, <laughs> trying to psych somebody out, you know? Um, that, that's like a feint in bot boxing. You just, that's how it is. That's how it is. <laughs> We're still trying to play Caleb at this point. Okay. We're trying to make, make him screw up. King E4. <laughs> Rook A to D4 check. Rook, oh, okay. Rook D8 to D4 check? Mm-hmm. Okay. King E5. Bishop F4. Oh, oh, That's me. Uh -huh. Corner me. Oh, oh, there we go. And that is a okay. And that is the end of Britney's first game. What would you would you think about that? Uh, it was exhilarating, and I'm a little anxious, but it was good nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> Thoughts on that, Pepe? Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and she tried, and then she she kept fighting until the end. That's uh, what you have to do in chess, yeah. So. Thank you, Pepe. <laughs> there you have it. Fight until the bitter end. All right, for all you kids out there, I see a lot of kids nowadays just re just resigning in the middle of the game. Oh, yeah. You know, they still fight to the end, yeah. I know do that. All right, guys, and we don't want to. Okay. <laughs> well, perfect. Um, so this is now um, since Caleb's been being Caleb's the mover all day. He wants to get in on the action, so he's gonna sure. be playing you. Um, how do you feel about playing? But you want to keep on playing black? Whatever, yeah, whatever you guys okay. prefer. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, so Caleb's been, uh, Caleb's basically what, you're like seven points under becoming a, a, a national master, is that correct? Uh, nine, yeah. Nine <laughs> points, so he's going to try to get that soon, and uh, we're going to see, and he's been pre preparing a lot, so we're going to see if he can actually make it happen. Do you want to, do you prefer playing the white or black pieces? Um, I'll play black. All right, Caleb has chosen to play the black pieces, which means Pepe is going to be playing white again. And now we switch to assistant manager Dennis LaRue as the mover for Pepe. And um, any any words you want to say before the match begins, Caleb? No. no. Oh, okay, quiet and stern. That's how he is. Well, um, we'll see if he can make it happen. Uh, with no no peace odds, no time odds, since he is pretty high level in terms of rating, we're going to play even game. All right, um... Pepe, anytime you're ready. Okay, D4. G6. <clears throat> Bishop E4. G6. Bishop G7. Knight F3. D6. Knight C3. Knight D7. E4. E4. Okay. And now he played E5. Bishop e2. Knight h6. 
Kirk Castles. Castles. H3. F6. Bishop E3. Knight F7. <clears throat> Queen C2. Just at first glance, it looks like... C6. Rook A to D1. Queen E7. Rook F to E1. Rook E8. Rook E8, right? You said. Rook E8. Okay, right. okay, okay. Bishop F1. A quick glance, it looks like Caleb was trying to do the same battle strategy of playing, trying to play against Dennis. Um, high on time, um, so he, let's see if we can out Bishop h6. So we can out time Dennis. Bishop takes h6. Sorry. Knight takes h6. B4. B4. Yes. Knight F7. C5. You don't have to keep using your money. Sorry. Uh, DC. D takes C5. Knight F8. Knight D2. <clears throat> Knight E6. Knight B3. Caleb is following the battle plan perfectly. He is up almost, what is it, two minutes? Oh, almost one minute. Um, Pepe has just over two and a half. And Caleb has three and almost four. Wow. Okay. So if he continues taking advantage of his lag. Bishop D7. Bishop C4. Rook A, D8. I'm sorry. Rook D2. Rook D2. Got it. Bishop C8. Rook E to D1. Rook E to D1. Got it. Rook takes d2, rook takes d2, okay. Rook d8. Rook takes d8. Queen takes. Queen d2. Queen d2. Knight d4. <clears throat> F3. All right, slowly but surely, time is, uh, Pepe is gaining on some time. He's still down. He only has a little over two minutes, and Caleb has two minutes and 50 seconds. So battle plan is still in play. King g7. Queen f2. Knight d8. Bishop to d3. Bishop e6. a3.
right, 146 for Pepe, two and a half for Caleb. G5. 92. Knight B3. Knight B3. Knight. You said Knight B3, right? Uh huh, yes. Knight takes B3. Bishop takes B3. Bishop F7. G3. Knight E6. Bishop C4. We got some fairly quick moves from Caleb, S semi quick moves from De Dennis. So we see the battle plans coming to play. Uh, 120 left for Pepe, two minutes full for Caleb. So he is doing well. Um, however, he needs to keep up the pace in order to keep up with the battle plan. Knight D4. He should take F7. Knight takes E2. G4. I accept. Oh, and a draw so offer. A draw <laughs> offer came from Pepe, and acceptance of the draw offer was wow, received. Wow. Wow. I think that was wow. The first chess game. Well, Tony Rich after Tony Rich's game. I mean, uh, <laughs> Jonathan's doesn't. So, count. Caleb, you were you were up by 40 seconds. Did you ever think about trying to just win on time? It's hard. You can't even press this position. It's not it like you can play moves. Oh, yeah, so that's, okay, okay. That, yeah, that's the real reason. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, look, at, we, have, we have great sportsmanship by both sides. Look at that. You, usually you see like kids, if you see ever go to the Scots tournament, you see kids like bickering and yelling at each other. None of that here. None of that here. We have great blood, great blood. Um, Dennis, since you, you, that was your first time moving for Pepe. What are your, what are your thoughts? Uh, this was my most successful uh, moment over the chessboard ever. <laughs> These are the strongest moves I've ever played. In my life, um. and there you have it. There, I'm still only at draw, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just want to add that was completely disgusting. Easy flag. This is the slowest hands at the chess club. Yeah. You should have won that game. Yeah, he I makes illegal just... moves. After, uh, <laughs> we saw an intense chess. Yeah. Oh, well, that was our first blindfold blitz banter. Um, if you want to see it again, please let us know, or else we're going to try some new things. Maybe we'll come back to this. Um, and as always, thank you for joining us on our stream. Hopefully you'll join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. for Mike Comer Plays with People, and that's going to be a fun time. All right? Um, well, thank you very much, and have a good day. Thank yeah, you. have a good day, guys. Thank you. Yeah. This has been a presentation of the St. Louis Chess Club.